Good uh, morning guys, welcome to today. Today is cool outside. I want to ride my horse again, I'm obsessed. But before we do anything at the barn, we're headed in to do some bathing suit shopping. So we're at the mall, we're gonna bring you guys with us. All right, I love this dress, it's adorable. I actually want to spend some time this summer wearing dresses. What? Oh, so be aware that, yeah. that pink one is cute. All right, that is cute. All right, let's go look at bathing suits. So we have not been in Old Navy in a really long time. Got a really long time, but I know they're good for bathing suits. Okay, look. They have sport bra kind. You don't like this kind? They're $39. All right, honestly, every store I go to, I find a million things I want. I also love these things. Like, I think they're really cute. I want for the black. So these are the change rooms, if you can see. Each one has a different decor in there. I love them. I like this one the best. This one, and then there's stripes, and then there's a brick wall, and then there's the first one again. And each one has a chandelier. Oh. I'm not looking over top. You can't see you. Wouldn't, it wouldn't be a mall visit without a stop to the Bath and Body Works. Sophie, they're 50% off. It is body wash for Gabby and hand sanitizer for Sophie. <laughs> you guys might not know this about her, but she's like extra about germs. Mmm, smells like apple. Ooh. So, body wash that Gabby uses, strawberry. That's spray, that's perfume. Same scent. Oh, I see. She wears strawberry. You want me to look for the strawberry? All right, so Gabby got perfume, so we got a bathing suit. And hand sanitizer. And hand sanitizer. Gabby's gonna get a new bathing suit. It's time to retire the one with bits on it. Do you guys remember she has a brown bathing suit with bits on it? How do you sell it? Because bathing suits you don't sell. Anyway, we are headed home. Sophie has a lesson today. You have a lesson today. Yeah, so <laughs> super exciting. It is hay day. It is hay. We do hay twice a week? Twice a week, Sam? We do hay twice a week. Really soon though, they're gonna be on the grass. I can see it blowing. And I don't know what's happened to our poop guy. He, he was supposed to come, didn't show up. Hopefully his health, health is good. Um, we're gonna take this thing down. I think I'm gonna do it soon. I li liked having it up because I can put the little horses out here. And look, they've already eaten down almost all the hay. Or, so I don't know, but I did talk to the trainer and I asked her like what does she need in our arena for her to teach Sophie all right and I said like do you want poles out there and she said yeah poles would be great so I'm gonna we're gonna load up the poles on the trailer but I need gloves because I still have a blister Gabby just gave Storm a uh, handful of hay no wonder he loves her best. But you know what? Nobody does for him what I do. I clean his butt. And you love that, huh? I clean your eyes and you don't love that. All right, watch out. I need to get the poles for you. you feel like doing poles today? <laughs> yeah, back up. He still separates himself from the herd. Oh, actually, I have my running shoes on. I don't want to get them dirty. I don't wear them down to the barn. But we're going to take all these poles i know they're looking a bit rough and there's two of them that need to be painted still and then there's a couple that are broken i think chino broke them actually there's one that's broken but anyway we're going to take these pack them in the truck and go down and work on our arena the weather is super cold today and it works because nobody likes working in the heat but it's not so cold that you're frozen so it's going to be perfect it's actually a perfect day. I'm just gonna back the truck up to here. So I'm just gonna put the poles out here so we can get them easier, so they can get them. That's it. And that's all we're gonna take down for now. Right. I'm gonna go get my dog and get a drink and then I'm gonna then change my shoes and then I'll meet you guys down there. Uh, the boys are gonna go in for lunch. Chino's back to his regular self. As you can see, he's still holding Storm as a stranger, as a hostile stranger. And so is Gracie. Like, he's just walking 17 hey, miles away from her baby, and she's going to let him know not to go near, not to come here. Yeah, because her baby is over here. Protected. Gracie, stop, because you're going to make him mad, and then he's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Stop being stupid. Stop being stupid. 
She takes care of her own when you're not here. She's good with him. She doesn't care about anything. <laughs> Storm booked it. Storm was like, you better move your feet right now. <laughs> What's, wrong with her nose? She's... <laughs> What's wrong with her nose? It's, it's, it's deep yeah. shedding more. Yeah. I wish she would shed. There's spots on her nose. Anyway, uh, you want to go in for lunch? Hey, you got a big rod coming up. Gracie, like honestly, you're being an idiot. Your baby is a grown-up. <laughs> but the baby's happy to do it. She's like, she loves being... She doesn't want to go out in the morning She lo Honey doesn't want to go yeah, out in the morning? Yeah, she's like, uh, get me away from her. Really? I have to push her out. Oh, that makes me so sad. Oh. I get a lot of people telling me that they put their horses on grass and keep them on grass 24-7 all the time. And that they... And that their field is always fine. And I think it must be like different areas and different ideas. Like some people, some horses I see are on grass and it's just stubble, stubble grass. And if you look out over it, it looks beautiful. It's just short, short grass. And if the field is big enough, maybe it can maintain like their, it maybe it can be their diet for the summer. But for us, if we put our horses on the grass before it's ready, and it's like ready at eight to 10 inches, I think it's eight to 10 inches, then the stalks are fragile still. Like if we put them out there too early, it's fragile, and it rips it, the, they can rip the grass out by the roots so easily. And also it will take, they will take the grass down to really short stubs, and we would end up with that stubby grass. Our purpose for maintaining our grass fields is to feed our horses. So we have some field that we cut and then we have one big field that we feed them with in the summer. So even though it makes, even though we see other people doing it and other people tell us we should be doing it, I think it's just that we want different things. Like I want our field to sustain our horses and give them food for the summer. I got blue. <laughs> Again. <laughs> purple and yellow is your green it is green <laughs> purple and green is your theme for the day anyway our grass is almost ready i think it's almost ready i have like a little stick i have to find it it tells me exactly when it's ready when it's at the right I think I pull the temperature neck, you pull the muscle in your neck yeah, because my neck hurts <laughs> okay so essentially we're getting ready for riding lessons uh it's a couple hours away and we're gonna go down there and we're gonna clean up our arena and make it gorgeous. Oh, here's another blue glove. I'm got... already Barney, so. <laughs> Gabby's coming too. Gabby got purple. We bought these gloves a couple, like a year ago, I think. They're gardening gloves, and we're gonna use them, them today. Them. Who made us buy them? Yeah, it's always you. Horses are in for lunch. You get to choose between 30 minute lessons and 60 minute lessons. So I asked Sophie, what do you prefer? And she said she wants to like do 30 minutes and see how she does and see how Storm does. We don't want to overtax them. We want to start slow. So we might do 30 minutes today and then work up to an hour. <laughs> Ellie's going with you. No. Look at how little she is. Ellie is six months old now, you guys. Pretty much that's how big she's going to be. She'll probably grow like another 10% <laughs> in the next six months. Little dogs like her, they grow really fast at the beginning and then they slow down a lot and they meet 90% of their growth by the time they're six months. She's about, she's about five and a half pounds. I'm going to make a video updating you guys though. Because there's a lot that's go a lot goes on with the whole Ellie experience. Like a lot. Burn, <laughs> Not everybody likes her. But she likes everybody. So Sam came out and dragged it again. It still has some issues. <laughs> it's still not perfect, people. But Gabby, what are you doing? What? Why are you helping with the arena? Because it's boring. <laughs> because it's boring. Um, hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody helps. If you're gonna ride in here, you are gonna help. Oh, Sam's still working on finding something to grade it a little bit better. But for now, this is what we have. Like all these little weeds. 
because it's just like because it's not good footing for them they just you can just pull them right out so Sophie's filling it Gabby's emptying it all right so the girls and I dug up like picked up a bunch of the dead grass stuff that's laying around the arena it looks a little bit better it looks a little bit better but we still have a lot to do a lot of it will come up when Sam keeps dragging it uh oh look at the bunny hopping in the tall grass do you see it? Ruby. Look, there it is. Molly, come watch, here. watch the grass. Come here. Do you guys see it? <laughs> She's gonna be exhausted. <laughs> so we're taking pictures of our dogs in the grass. I'll show some of the pictures to you. <laughs> There's one of our dogs. <laughs> So it looks really cute. Good girl. Good girl. You can get up. Come here, Ellie. <laughs> oh sit. Sit. Send them to okay. me and then Come sit. Sit. Send them to me and I'll I'll put them in the vlog. <laughs> you got Then you can barely okay, see wait. them. I'm going to I'm going to put them in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Uh, something we never do her. living on a farm is just lay in the hay. I killed her again. <laughs> Peekaboo. <laughs> She's the funniest baby. Uh, sit. Stay. Stay. Stay, Ellie. Stay. Stay. Ellie, look at me. <laughs> I need to look at me. Come closer, dance for me. Easy, tiger, easy, let your hair down. Come closer, let me see. All your million faces and all your million mistakes. Honestly, I have no idea what we would have done. Like, I have, I am so grateful for Gracie, you guys. She is just the sweetest, sweetest horse with Honey. And she actually did teach her how to be a horse. Honey's over a year, and she still needs so much from a mom. It makes me wonder why horses are sold before they're two. All right, we are ready. We're ready for the trainer, and Sophie swept up. He is <laughs> groomed, and he has his feet picked. I literally just groomed every horse that's standing in here. So you guys can see the true color of honey coming through. See little tiny bits? And around her eyes and her nose. Let's show around her eyes. See? I... Oh. You can see the darkness. We were hoping that she was gonna be super light, but you can see now. See it? Loves being groomed. Just want to get all this fuzz off of you. It doesn't come off. I know it really doesn't come off. It's so thick still. Like if you pick it out, it comes out. But as soon oh wow, that's pretty good. I, well, watch her. Oh sorry. Watch her belly. Wow. So it is coming off. We've had a frost warning the last couple of nights, or we had it last night, and we're having it tonight. Long lost brothers. Oh.